Who to gray? Like white gray? Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> I'm looking at you in the camera. <laughs> Okay, cool. So today we're gonna do the mummy. This one's gonna be a super easy paint job. I'm gonna like keep this as simple as possible. It's almost gonna be the same paint job as this. I'm just gonna kind of show you a couple techniques, do something a little bit different, and then I'm gonna seal it with a matte finish, which I think is like the key thing for this. Um, it's a little glossy for me. The mummy should be just duller. Okay, so um, this is gonna be a really fast paint job. Let's start out by doing the latex based paint i'm gonna choose a couple of colors here these are the paints that'll start out with zombie flush light and then i'm gonna base out the wrap with just like a off white and the hair maybe a lighter white as well all right so i'm mixing up the color here it's still a little bit darker than i want it to be so what i might end up doing is actually just setting this aside and getting another one and then starting with white and then tinting up with this. I went back and forth on how I was gonna do this one. I really like the color of the face already. I want to make the bandage lighter. I wanna make it like an off-white. And then the hair, same thing. I'm gonna do just a lighter color hair and then I'm gonna do a rub out over the entire mask. So including where this has already has its own rub out, um, I'm just gonna do it again and it'll fill the details in even more. In my experience, usually whenever I, I wash it off with a sealed mask, it, it works pretty well and I'll probably even kind of start there and then I'll move on to the, the hair and the band, bandana, the, the bandage. Um, but cause this already looks pretty good, but once I get the details in there, it, uh, it, it'll, once I get the rub out in there, the details will pop more. I'm gonna start by just airbrushing the bandage because I know what I'm gonna do there for sure. And, but maybe not because it might look a little weird there, but we'll see. I'm gonna start off with this and we'll, we'll see where I go from there. So I'm gonna start with bright white and then I'm gonna tint it up just a little bit with zombie flesh medium. This looks pretty white. It's got a decent amount of the zombie flesh medium in there and paint always dries like a couple shades darker. So I'm gonna start there because um, I do want it to be substantially different from this color. I'm gonna mix some distilled water in here. A lot of people say they want it to be a milky consistency. I like it to be a little thicker than milky. This has been drying for uh, quite some time, so I think that we should be safe uh, to do the rub out. This whole portion, this is the factory paint with the factory seal. I'm really not worried about uh, wiping any of this paint off at all. So I'm gonna mix up um, a rub out for this. And um, I do want this rub out to be a pretty similar color to the one that they already used for this one. Um, I like this color scheme a lot, so I don't wanna change this color too much on the face, but I do just wanna fill in more stuff on the details. I'm gonna spray it all with the color, and then I'm gonna start with the face so I can make sure I really get it off of there as much as possible. Then I'll do the bandage because I don't want it to sit on this fresh paint for too long and stain it. And then I'll move on to the hair because I want the hair to be a lot darker than it is right now. And it might even be enough to where I can just leave this hair color. But again, I'm pretty sure that once I'm done with the rub out, I'm gonna dust like a gray color on the hair. And I think that that'll be cool having those three main colors. This is the rub out I would normally use. I think it might be a little too red. So I'm just gonna make a whole new one up real quick. As always, this is FW Ink. I have antelope brown and burnt umber. Um, I use both of these colors a lot. And I think what I'm gonna go with is gonna be the burnt umber, but then I'm gonna darken it just a little bit. I'm gonna give it just a tiny bit of this black. Again, this black is already diluted with alcohol. Oh, I'm gonna put just a little bit in there. That even might've been too much. Again, I've said it before, the mixture, it's pretty much you want it to be roughly 30% ink, 70% alcohol. You wanna be super careful with mixing black in the stuff. You can just waste all of it really quickly. This color actually looks really cool on it. It looks kinda of cool like that. I like this color. This, it's not what I was originally thinking. 
but I think that this dark brown color works. I think that it looks pretty cool. What I decided I want to do, because I do like this color, I'm going to rebase just the hair region because I don't like the hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to base the hair in a really, really dark brown, super dark, almost black. And then I'm going to stipple like a gray white on top of that. Um, and then I'll probably go over it with some ink and kind of touch that up. Hopefully that'll look good. And with all of them together, I'll, I'll be happy enough with it to just do the, the seal and move on. What I did basically, and I, I might still go in here to the, I went in with a darker version of this brown that I mixed up. Same colors, uh, burnt umber and black, but just more black. The wrap is definitely still a different color. It's definitely a lot whiter than the face. Uh, the hair is really dark. And uh, but again, this is kind of just these little areas. I really, I like the dark hair, honestly. I know it's just a very atypical, which I don't really have any problems with that. Um, but when, when I think of the mummy in my head, he has like gray hair. He's also not this dark. But if I think of the way like that real mummies look, they're even darker than this. So. I'm just trying to have fun with it at this point. Um, it, it's not what I originally intended it to be, but I do like it. This is just like crappy bed foam. Um, I used to spend a lot of money on sponges and try to reuse them and like recut them and all that. And then I just realized that this is the same thing that I was using. I don't really make gray that often, honestly. It's the color as it looks now. Okay, uh, so uh, as I said, I definitely just like the look of that more than that. Um, but before I just completely decide to cover it in brown, I mixed up some dark brown and I'm gonna try to just like dust it and kind of see um, if I like that or not. And if I do, then, then I'll stipple the rest of it and, and do that. And if not, then I'll just continue to, to brown it out, so. So I'm just blending this in. Um, yeah, I, I didn't like it. Maybe it was the color, but I think it was mostly the technique. I just didn't like the way the stippling was looking on it. So I just went over with like brown over all that. And then uh, now I'm doing like almost black brown. I don't know, I, I like the dark hair. I, I think it looks cool. I don't care if it's not like accurate or maybe it is accurate and I don't even know. All right, so this is just Krylon matte finish. Um, definitely, I've said it before, go light on this. Um, shake it up really, really well, or else it'll just spray out white. Um, but shake it up, spin it. Don't go super heavy with this or else your mask will like crack. And I think I said at the beginning of this video that this could be the only thing that you do to this mask. Just spray this matte finish over the factory finish and it'll make it matte. All right, so that's gonna wrap up the repaint on the Karloff mummy mask. Um, it's a really amazing sculpt. I love the mask. Um, and I am happy with how he turned out. Um, there was a lot of kind of speed bumps along the road on this one and I got pretty frustrated But I'm pretty happy that I came out with something that I'm still proud of uh, It looks different than any of the other ones that I've seen for better or worse um, But I do like the darker hair honestly and the darker skin uh, And I am a lot happier with the way that the bandage looks This is kind of my favorite part about it that turned out exactly how I had planned it to um, the rest of it I just kind of made do with with what I got and um but again, like I said, I am, I am happy to, to have it and, and, and I, I do like it more than before I started painting it. So I don't think I made it worse personally, um, but you be the judge. Let me know if you preferred it in the stock way. I'm sorry if you did, it's a lot cheaper. Uh, so don't complain. But that's gonna wrap it up for Mask Monday. I'll see you next week and hopefully we have another mask to paint or another cool mask to show you.